Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. I should have brought my sunglasses out, shouldn't I? It is Wednesday the 8th of May. Sue's isn't doing good, extremely weak. We were going to call an ambulance last night to see whether they could put her on some sort of drip or blood transfusion to see if that made any difference. But um, she perked up with the, you know, conversing. Um, she can talk normally again now. But nothing's really going in. Um, we've tried the under the lip anti-sickness last night and that seemed to do the trick and didn't seem to knock her out but took it this morning and then an hour and a half later she was sick so um i just can't understand why her body's doing that to her um on another note it's our brother kevin's birthday today and you just couldn't write it because um, obviously we didn't arrange Dad's funeral. It's his uh, his new family that he got when he left us. Um, arranged it for today. So a bit of a kick in the teeth for Kev, but Dad's funeral is on his birthday. <sighs> so I've messaged Kev, just said happy birthday and... Mum's been looked after in York Hospital, but I can't leave Sue's. It's, she's too delicate right now. And our family from down south, Auntie Val, Uncle Roy, and that are going to Dad's funeral and Terry, our other brother Terry. Um, you've all seen Terry with his entrenched PTSD from the Gulf and Bosnia. I'm not sure whether he's going to go in when he gets there. But I said to him, just take it take it as it is. If you get there and you feel like you can't go in, don't go in. You know, just get your closure. You can see Uncle Roy and Auntie Val. But yeah, lots, lots going on. Lots of um, ironic, just weird stuff going on. I just need to be there for Suze, make sure she's as comfortable as she can be. Try and get some something to eat in her today and just hope that it stays in. She's not obviously digesting much food at all. She's on the high calorie shots and the high calorie yogurts but she can only manage a few mouthfuls and then what she does manage she's sick again i mean her little legs must be as big as my arms now she's she's lost so much weight oh i'm sorry for the frowning uh I need to get some botox to stop it um it's going to be 21 22 degrees today so what i'm going to do is just try and soak a bit of that in um, Joe, Joe's wheel life is hopefully coming to see me today um, it'll be unlikely that she's she'll go in to see Suze um, Suze is just a bit too poorly um, plus don't want to you know don't want to risk any um, taking anything in to Suze either so Joe will sit out, outside with me. Oh gosh. So many things that I'm trying to process now at the time. But there's also so many things that need to be processed that I just um, haven't got the time for yet. Or the capacity to do so. And that'll come later. So 
I dressed myself up today. I don't want to cry, so I did my makeup. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Got a little, got as the dress on. Got my nights. Just to try and summer myself up a bit. And carry on around my purse because um, the blooming van radiator blew up. So Ash is at the garage with that. And um, need to get that paid for once it's finished. The only thing about having to run vehicles is um, things can go wrong. But it's all right, we're sorted. We're sorted. We keep a little contingency for the vehicles, obviously, because our business needs to run with the cars. And um, yeah, I think it's only 9 a.m., so that breeze is still a little bit nip, but the sun is just. It's lovely you just shut your eyes and pretend you're somewhere else and all the birdies but I must I must stop frowning I don't know why I came out without my sunglasses on that's not gonna help these big furrows is it anyway that's a little update for you all thank you for being there <laughs>